For those of you who are not aware yet, the sun and the moon are plasma. Fittingly, I found a website called Science Focus, which is connected to the, uh, the BBC. And it asked the question, why does the moon appear white and the sun yellow? This is actually a great question which science can't answer, but I can. The sun and moon are both electromagnetically charged. The sun having a greater power output than the moon. The same principle as a fluorescent lamp. It has gas inside the glass container and when, when it is electrically charged, the lamp lights up. Exactly the same process is happening with the sun and the moon. This is a video by Jay Grove. It's taken from a Nikon P1000 and is 4K. Notice the, uh, the sprockets of light emanating from the moon, the, the tiny dots. Those lights are coming from inside the moon. The, the moon is electromagnetically charged and the whole of the moon lights up during full moon. When we look at the moon from the ground, it looks as though the whole moon is lit up. This is a time-lapse video of Casey Station in Antarctica. From 33 seconds to 35 seconds, something strange happens. You will see a black object passing from the right of the screen to the left. Here it is again, played at half the speed. The real sun can only be observed from a certain degree south latitude, meaning where we are, where the humans live, we only see one side of the sun, the lit side. Also this proves that the sun and the moon are the same size. The sun has such an such a powerful electric charge that when we look at it from our vantage point the it's lit up so much that it hides its true size it, rather it's made to look bigger than it actually is this reminds me of the scriptures where it says that the sun is a greater light to rule the day and the moon a lesser light to rule the night. Imagine walking around at night in pitch darkness. Everything is made for us. Everything is created for a purpose. Thank you very much.